Hello, everybody. I am Desolating Hexagons. This is Ripe and Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love, and uh, welcome to the port. I don't have enough rupees. Oh, no. If you're in a pinch, relax and come visit Dun and John's dungeon. Yeah, that's not something that we're going to need to do at some point soon. Travelling license office that way. And there's the sea. The blue ocean is without end. That's objectively not true. We are on one of its ends right the dang now. And there's a boat. Apparently it also counts as the sea. So yes, in the last episode we reached the port. And uh, we need a passport to pass the port. And we don't have one. You're giving off a certain flavour of vibe. But not one that's relevant to us. Here's a sign. Hey, Tingle. Not mad just now. But all suspicious, huh? I... this must be the office building then. What is the thought process there? Lion be like, hmm, there's a chap. I think I'll profile him. His existence suggests that this is a legal office. How do you think, sir? Yes, I said something like that too. Why did you not just lead with that instead of asking all these... making me ask all those questions about... Also, there's a rupee with a crown. We've seen one of those before. So, uh... Egg people! Amazing! It's for the people! Uh, I don't know if that's so great! Oh well, single. If, oh, if, if, if we all went, we'd just get in your way. Uh, well, well, we're getting the passport to you! You can do it, mister! Yeah, you just park your respective asses. What about you, Bariki? A <laughs> is required to drive the ferry. It sure is. Egg people. Uh, the stamp. What's that? Wait, I don't taste bored. I did. But I still don't get it. Application form, proof of employment. Why is it so complicated? I just want a passport. I had to go through exactly that earlier this year to renew my passport. And I don't like that I now have one of the post brook trip passports because I liked how they looked before. Burgundy was such a flattering colour, whereas the current ones are just like, oh yeah, that's a thing that happened in your country's history that you just have to deal with for the rest of forever now. Like, yeah. Anyway, application form. Bureaucracy the video game. It's fun. Probably. What's up here? Passport issuing procedure. Step one. Prepare an application form and sing it all day long. Step two, answer the questions and get a stamp, and that's how you write a song. And then present proof of it, like, we don't have one! And then submit filled out form with two steps. Well, we have an application form, so, uh... Well, can I not just... itself? Hi. Well, we've lined up. Here's, uh... Well, first of all, can we just can we just wag your very square chin? <laughs> Line for a passport. Get an application form first. There is some on the table over there. Yeah, I have one. Would you mind helping this old, old, thirty-five-year-old old man out? Yeah, an application form. Good. I'll explain the passport issuing procedure. First, go to the window on the very left. Answer a few simple questions. Then present your proof of employment at the middle window and get a stamp. Tell that to me with your filled out application form and a photo of your face. I will then issue you a passport. You can also find these instructions on the notice board in this office. So, you know, nice and straightforward. How was I supposed to know you wanted me to go to the left window first? I mean, okay, these do kind of look like Hylian numbers, to be fair. Okay, fine. You there. Please help this elderly 35-year-old man out in solving the mystery of filling out a piece of documentation. Yes, this is gameplay. <laughs> All right, let's get to the questions. I, I'm talking out the side of my mouth for these two characters and this guy. I'm talking out the left side. The other guy was out the right-hand side. So, you know, I'm clever and smart. Where are you trying to go after using the ferry? I don't know if we need to quantify that it's the Emerald City. But the Emerald City. Or perhaps just city, comma, the. Oh, Emerald City. It's said to be a happy place. I envy you. I'd like to go there myself. Well, 
Yeah, just stand. Oh, that was troublesomely straightforward. Tingle, no. No, oh, get the stamps for your proof of employment. Please proceed to the next window. Joy. But the next window looks a little bit bacon. As a as a child, oh hi. I I when I like I I learned the word vacant from like the, the locks on public bathroom toilets. Public bathroom toilets. And in my mind, vacant and bacon were very similar. Like those were words that held hands with each other. I, I can't explain it any more detailedly than that. Hello. Here yeah, you can get your. Oh. Guards! Guards! A dangerous looking man is trespassing! All I did was follow procedure! P R Schwa hyphen capital C hyphen J A H Procedure! Single? Little bit rude. And, and down the stairs as well. Awful. You look kind of like a Goron, and I mean that in a good way. I don't think you are meant to be one, though. Huh? I'll catch a cold sleeping on the floor. Tiggle, are you okay? As okay as I can be after being thrown down some stairs. Listen, you guys. No entering the office. Carrying dangerous objects. What dangerous object? That old guy's face is a biological weapon. This means you can't go past me. Oh, that's kind of rude. Uh, I give up. If we can't get a passport, we can't find the ferry. And this lady won't wear us full. Did you say, lady? Well then, there's only one thing for it. Don't fight her, you'll lose. But if I fight her heart, how about that? So, uh, mind if I push my way into your heart? What can I give you, a uh, gorgeous hobby? Uh, that's a rarity. You're not a fan of rarities. A mature gorgeous hobby, on the other hand. Find some hot springs. I'm sure it'll do you a flavor. And it did. Far more substantial than I thought. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad I was born a woman. I'm seeing you in a different light now. Um... Question marks have some classy crayons. Huzzah! That was as efficient as it could possibly have been. I... There are many things I could ask about you, my dear, and I intend to voice exactly none of these thoughts because I cannot articulate them to myself. So, now that you're a bit less inclined to do a hate crime in my general direction... Uh, I made a mistake. They're not really dangerous tights, man. On contrary, you're quite handsome. Are you going to say for the dance party? You guessed right! But, not just for the dance party. With this medal, I will meet the king! Hey! Don't say that out so carelessly! What we do if you lose it? Put it away! Hi. That medal? Ah, you must be. Uh, ah, now I'm ashamed to have stood in your way. I wish I could help you somehow. Uh, I've got it. Science man. The second window receptionist. If you're looking for presents, she likes food. I lost the accent there. But fine. Okay, well... She also likes style and pretty and mature and gorgeous. She's neutral on tool and rarity, and she doesn't like decorations, hobbies, and cool things. So, with that armament informed information in our arms, hello again! A slightly worried looking woman. Yeah, yeah. Her hair reminds me of broccoli, but I mean that in a good way. So, uh. I'm fairly sure that this is not a legal thing to do to government officials, but hey, can I bribe you, perhaps with pretty food? Do I have any left? 
a pretty gorgeous food, much like yourself, broccoli. Why so little? Who was that? For me, you say? Oh, I'm so happy. I got to show this to my son. Alrighty then. A pretty mature food? And then that's kind of all we can give her out of these, because everything else is neutral or bad. Why are you so slow at liking things? Why can't you like things more than you do? Ah, uh, a bag yum. On ill claim or bar tat and all that. Okay, well, I'll go down the style route instead. Okay, so pretty style is off the table. Mature style? No mature style. Gorgeous style? Nothing. We might need to restock on items. Unless... Uh, no, you're, you're not too keen on rarities. Mature gorgeous... Did we not already give you a mature gorgeous food? Or was that a pretty gorgeous food? Emperor O's. Uncertain dietary value. We're almost there. Hopefully one more thing. Please, please don't require two things, because we're just on the cusp. We are, we are on the very border of being able to have a fantastic time with you. What's it gonna take? Just regular gorgeous food? Jus nouveau? The new juice? Which... I guess makes sense. I suppose they would call it new juice if it was the first grapes of the season. Would the first grapes of the season really taste that different from the later ones? I imagine probably because, like, wine vintage maturity and stuff? Anyway. Hi. Now that we're in your heart, can we get into your passport? By which I mean my passport. Oh, I'm sorry for before. You're so kind. My instincts warn me of you, and so, uh, I overreacted. Very well, sir. To get my stamp, please show me your proof of employment. Uh, your expression right now gives me a premonition. Are you here without proof of employment? Well, we don't have any, so... So I was right. Now what's a do? Without proof of employment, I can't get my stamp. Maybe find a job here at the port and get one? I'd really like to help you out, but... Uh, eh, that's right. Look here. More broccoli. Look, my son, my pride and joy. He decided to work here in port. Ah, he's grown into a fine young man. We called him Wee Wee when he was little. He needed to pee so often. Ah, but now he's a grown man. Follow his example. Don't be a slacker forever, sir. He's working somewhere around here, I think. He knows a lot about working in the port. If you meet my son, ask his advice. Ah, uh, but don't tell him I told you about Wee Wee. <laughs> you all right? Well, sir, you'll have to move aside. I can't give you a stamp. Find employment first. So that's going to be a fun time. Get a job! Alas, yes, we will have to. But before we do... Since we've just hit a chapter break, now seems like a good time for us to, uh, just sort of leave. Admittedly, maybe it's not the optimum time to leave. So, uh, I, I will say, we will need to leave this page more than once. And this is the more optional of two things we'll need to leave for, so, uh, I could have done it all in one trip, and I'm choosing not to. So, what I'm getting at is... Is this... I've already forgotten. I think this is the page we go to in order to access the dungeon, and we did get a cartridge ages ago, which should grant us access to, uh, well, you'll see. We pointed the seed. Now we have to wait for it to grow. You did a good job, Tingle. Well done, mister. And so we put the teabag filter over reality so we can just sort of insert ourselves back into apostrophe T. The world thereafter, back in Vegetable Village. Hello. One of the dungeon dwellers is looking this way. 
Shortcut to the dungeon this way. Follow. To think, all we had to do was cut through the brummage when first we came here and we could have avoided so much of the drama. But then we wouldn't have gained the ability to travel through time, so it's fine. We have returned to the ruins, as promised. Well, I promise it to myself and indirectly to you, and that's good enough. Hello, fellows. John, I have a gift for you. If I could, if I could not fat finger the screen and give you, I have a cartridge. What do you think of this? That's a cartridge, isn't it? Hand it to me over the counter. I can't reach it from here. Ring the bell. A little bit rude. John, how's, how's, how's your shining face? Ask John if you want to know about the dungeon. I'm just here for the atmosphere. I'm eye candy. I'm set dressing. We're in a relation. That's quite enough. Ding. Coming. Okay, now will you accept my gift? Thanks for visiting our shop. Yes, have... have this. It's the DBK, Donby Kong. A cartridge, huh? I'll take that. Dungeon. Go ahead and choose your game. Hard? Hard, you say? These are our difficult dungeon cartridges. So yeah, DBK. I believe is, like, in the internal rankings, there are a load of cartridges that all unlock different dungeons of different difficulties, you know, different levels of risk and reward. And DBK, I think, is the first one you can get, and it's the hardest one on the list! But that's fine, because when I played this game for myself, it was the first one I found, and thus the one I cut my teeth on. So... This dungeon is 50 rupees. Wanna play? As a matter of fact, I do. Alright, I'll pop in the cartridge. Please don't poop in the cartridge. You didn't blow it it's You didn't blow it this time? There's a joke I could make about the colour of the cartridge, but I'm not going to do that. So, you know the rules, and so do I. I don't actually know the words from there. So, this is a little bit of a a time to look at visually. So, um I mean I don't hate it. As I said, th th this is the uh Hi, you just sort of missed me entirely. This is hard to look at, but I'm also very accustomed to it, so it's fine. I just want to read the law. Here's the law. My name is Izumi. I live at the Empty Channel on TV. Cool. I would also like to get as many of the coins as I can, because, like, we've been given five minutes on the clock, and... As you can imagine, the penalties for failure are quite high, but the, the, the reward for succeeding is also quite high. And you can use little bits and pieces to your advantage here, like the exit is always in the top right corner of the screen. So, you know, you always know where your destination is, it's just a matter of finding your way there. In an ideal world, I would like to collect every coin. You know, I can't hug every cat, but maybe I can collect every coin. Hi! I'm gonna punch you in the face, and everything went better than expected! Cool! It is never worth your while to pursue fighting enemies, because it is nothing but a game of chance. It is, like, you're, you're more likely to lose big time style. Oh! Also, if you get everything on a floor, more stuff spawns. So... There's another level of risk and reward to it that I completely forgot about as a mechanic. So... I'm just going to book it out of here, if that's quite alright with you lovely people. But... The reason why I'm choosing to come back here and do this now is, I mentioned previously how there are tiers to the gift items you can give to uh, during the love push. It is as of this point that we're going to start running into girls who want level two items and like like level one. Even if it match, like if you give a level one gift, even if it matches all the tags that the girl likes, it will still count as a bad failure. Wrong. You've you know you, you it, it does harm and not good. I suppose because you're implying that their tastes are cheap. And obviously, these dungeons being harder have a significantly higher payout. And hi. Ooh. I am dancing with the devil here. So. I'm trying to turn, please let me turn, this is a... Okay, that did not go as planned at all, but it worked my favour somehow. I would like to show all of the lore bits. I cannot guarantee that I will, but I would like to. 
It's on the other side of this wall, unless it's behind me, it's on the other side of that wall. So, what I'm getting at is, there are more coins in these dungeons, and the coins are worth more if, if and when you turn them in. So, you know, do your best, God does the rest, the whole Dutch thing I was telling you about however many episodes ago that, that was. Uh, we're gonna probably bump into another one of the enemies and it'll be a sad time for all involved, I just want to read the deep lore. You sometimes see me at night, amongst the noise. I could get everything on this floor, we have 29 coins, it's fine. I. These coins ain't worth shit if you don't cash them in, so you sort of need to survive to the end of the dungeon in order for them to be worth anything, so... As I said, risk and reward don't bad. Anyway, um, the reason why I bring this up now... Let's play together, in the noise, forever! <sighs> no. <laughs> the reason why I bring this up now is, of course, level high again. Oh bad. Oh bad. Oh bad. Obviously, level 2 gifts are going to be more expensive, and by a significantly wider margin than you might otherwise expect. So, fine, I will punch you in the face with a fist of hands. <laughs> I know what shape hands are called. Too bad. Oh, I'm just trying to escape at this point. But fine, I, I can I can run like a cowardly chicken, or perhaps custard. I could be custard. You don't know me. I could be octopore. Octopore can can do here. Oh, how do I get to the end layer? This is bad and terrible and troubling. If I go... Why are they all congregating on the, the, the top corner? I just need to get to the exit and come on and slab and... No! No! Worst possible outcome! I have... Oh, ten! Oh, well. I guess it won't penalise you... Okay, so if you have 20 seconds left and the penalty is 20 seconds, it won't give you the full 20... It won't penalise you to the point of death on in, in, in impact? It won't kill you! Okay. I... I figure that it won't, like, you can't instantly lose by failing game of rock, paper, scissors. Is that what I'm to take away from this? I really don't know. My hope in all of this is to get enough money to afford the D-pad, because obviously that will make this a lot easier, because then I can actually go the way I want to go. I forgot how difficult it is to see in there. I apologise, especially if Premiere absolutely eats the bitrate. A dungeon cleared! Good job! You've collected 41 coins! One coins is worth a bonus of a hundred rupees! That's 4,100 rupees in all! So yes, it's the hardest dungeon, with the biggest payout. Congratulations on clearing the dungeon! Before anything else, I'm going to buy the D-pad. Please, sir, give me your D. We've, uh, we've had this whole conversation before, just get to the point so that I can buy the D-pad. Please. Really? No problem, but... It's 1,000 rupees. That okay? Yeah, fine. You really paid that much to be able to use the D-pad? Well, the rupees, please. Thanks. Wait a sec. I'll customize your experience. Now you can use the D-pad controls. Press up to go forward, left and right to turn. Down is not used. Take care. Touch will still work. Use whichever. Presumably whichever you like. So on that note, I have been able to continue to be tessellating hexagons, and I'm going to do some more of this in between episodes. I'll probably show you a cut-together montage or something at the start of the next episode, just because I want to grind up money, and now is a very good time for that. So, uh... See you in the next episode, where I'll hopefully be five figures richer? Maybe? We'll see what happens. See you then for that.